I have known uh, Muneeb uh, Abu Rabih as long as I can remember, maybe 40 years. And I remember when I first met him at uh, Samir Qawar office, and I was really taken aback by his uh, prominence and uh, his uh, uh, majestic uh, look. And uh, since then, we started developing uh, a very nice uh, working relationship. And when I became a minister in the Jordanian government, I always sought his uh, wisdom and advice. And uh, this relationship kept developing. And uh, I mean, with no doubt, I have always been looking up to uh, Abu Rabih. Abu Rabih uh, is a, one of the most successful businessmen in the Middle East. Uh, he is a self-made man. He made his wealth through dedication, through perseverance, and it is uh, the old-fashioned way, and uh, he is to be respected for uh, that. Uh, Abu Rabih never, never let his wealth uh, uh, affect his uh, char uh, character or get uh, to his character. He has always kept a low-key, modest demeanor. He can equally talk to the average man in the street as well as to the President of the United States of uh, America. He is uh, equally uh, a, a true Jordanian citizen and a superb Palestinian nationalist. Uh, he uh, has always been uh, committed to the Jordanian development, but he never forget his uh, Palestinian roots. That's why he chooses not to live in Paris or London or, or Dubai. He lived in Nablus and uh, he is committed to promoting the Palestinian cause and working towards the reconciliation and the national uh, unity. Uh, in fact, uh, if one is to sum up the character of uh, Abu Rabih, he is a true, uh, the ultimate gentleman, a leader and a humanist.